Lucy. Hey guys, it's about 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside, but I want to show you something I just built. This doghouse is fully insulated and contains an Arduino controlled heater that keeps it nice and warm inside. I also made a Bluetooth app from my phone so I can see how warm it is inside the doghouse without having to go outside. So if you're interested in doing a project like this yourself, stick around and see how I did it. This is Lucy, our 10 month old Australian Shepherd. And while we have her sleep inside at night, she really prefers to be outside. In fact, if we leave her inside for too long, she gets a little bit crazy. Right now the weather's pretty good, so that's not a problem. But pretty soon it'll start getting cold here and she'll need a place to go during the day to escape the cold. For the walls, I will be using this exterior grade textured sheathing, which actually is cheaper than plywood and has this nice surface for painting. So for the base, I just used a piece of sheathing and some leftover redwood. For insulation, I'll be using this foil-faced foam board, which is relatively inexpensive. As you can see down here in the base of the doghouse, I've glued in some 3 quarter inch strips uh, to act as a little air gap uh, between the foil and the bottom of the doghouse. As you can see here, adding uh, air space increases the R value of the insulation by 2.8. Here's the wall with the door. Once again, that foil is facing the inside of the doghouse. So here's the opposite wall, just insulation at the bottom. Up at the top, I just left it wood so that I could screw in the two light fixtures. All the interior walls are done and there's foam all around. Uh, one thing is anywhere there's a little crack, I'm going to fill it in with this crack sealant. What do you think, Lucy? For the roof, I added this 2x2 beam across and I put some adhesive foam on so that it'll seal nice and tight. So with one side of the roof installed, I put in another piece of insulation and put in these little wood spacers so that I have something to nail the sheathing to. Here's the other half of the roof with insulation. It's designed to fit right in there, just like that. So with a little paint and some PVC trim, it's starting to look like a doghouse. And just in time, as you can see, we just got our first snow. I also installed this door flap to try to keep the heat in. With the structure now complete, it's time to move to the fun part, and that will be installing the electronics and the heater, which will go right here on this back wall. Now this of course isn't everything, but these are the major components that will get us started here. For the heat source, I've selected this 150 watt ceramic heating element. They also make uh, 200 and 250 watts. But this 150 watts is uh, pretty equivalent to what the Hound heater puts out, so we're going to start with that. Be sure to use one of these porcelain bases. They're about the same price as these plastic ones, but hold up to heat much better. For controlling the heating element, I'll be using this 25 amp solid state relay. For AC power, I have this 10 foot grounded extension cord and for the DC power for the Arduino, a small transformer. Of course, safety is first, so anything high voltage will be shielded from the dog in this waterproof enclosure. Now do not attempt this project if you are not familiar and experienced with high voltage applications. For the brains of this project, I'll be using this Bluno Nano with built-in Bluetooth so that I can view the temperature in the doghouse on my cell phone. Now if you don't care about that function and want to save a few bucks, just use an Arduino Uno. The code will be exactly the same. Which brings us to this DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor. Now I did want to test this out before installing it in the doghouse, so I wired it directly to 120 volts AC. And because this is a metal shield, I made sure that it was connected to earth ground. So I've had this thing running about 20 minutes now. I wanted to see how hot it would get. Um, as you can see, about an inch and a half off the top of the element, about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the surface of the element itself, uh, several hundred degrees. So you definitely want to use some sort of guard to keep little noses away. But the side of the can, uh, not really hot at all. So I think this will be a good shield. So here it is with all the electronics installed. Got the heater over here with the cage. 
We've got all of the AC components on this side and the Arduino will be in this side over here. It's cold outside so as you can see by this light right here that the Arduino has turned on the heater and it's putting out some good heat. Got the two plates on to cover everything up and in case you are wondering I put the temperature sensor in between these two boxes so that the dog would not chew on it like she did down here. Before we write the Arduino code, I'm going to rename the Bluno so that it can be easily identified by the Android app. Because I've used this Bluno Nano before on another project, I'm going to first upload a blank sketch. So first uh, select the Arduino Uno board, which is what you select if you're using a Bluno or Bluno Nano. I'm going to upload this blank sketch. Now we will open the serial monitor and you want to make sure it says no line ending and select the baud rate with this is the default baud rate for the Bluno and type three plus symbols which will enter the AT mode. Now we're going to switch back to both NL and CR and we're going to type the command AT plus name equals doghouse. And this will change the name of the Bluno to Doghouse. Now we simply type AT plus exit. And we've exited the uh, BLE configuration mode. This is the Arduino code that I will use to control the temperature in the Doghouse. Uh, this code uses both the one wire and the Dallas temperature libraries. We just need one variable, and that's to cover the temperature. And we'll use pin 13 on the Arduino to control the relay for the heater. Here in the setup loop, we will first turn on the digital thermometer. We'll start serial communication. We'll set pin 13 as an output and set it first to low. So here in the main loop, we first read the temperature from our digital thermometer and save that value to our temperature variable. Now I am using the Fahrenheit command here, but you can also use Celsius if you choose. Next, we're taking that temperature variable and we're broadcasting it so that it can be uh, read by the Android device. And down here, if the temperature gets below 55 degrees, we will turn on our heater. And once the temperature is above 60 degrees, we'll turn it back off and we'll loop every two seconds. After uploading the code, we can test it out using the serial monitor. If I put my hand on it, it should warm up, which it did. For the Android application, I used MIT App Inventor and you need to import this Bluetooth LE extension before you get started. This is a really simple uh, application. I just have a picture of my dog and a label here to display the temperature. If we click on this blocks button up here, we can see the source code behind. You'll see, first of all, I have three global variables, uh, two of which are the ID numbers for the Bluno. I had to look those up online. And the third one is the name doghouse that we named the Bluno device earlier. Using those variables, we we're able to automatically uh, connect with the Bluetooth device when the application initializes. And then once it does, we do this register for string commands so that we can receive information from the Arduino. When we do receive a string from the Arduino, we publish that to the label on the uh, front page. And down here, I have it change color between purple and black each time a new string is received, just so that I can see that it is receiving information. If we push the back button to exit the application, it'll shut everything down. And if for some reason we lose connection with the Bluno device, it will update the label to show that we are disconnected. So like I said, pretty simple application. Let's load it onto the phone and see how it works. All right, I see down here at the bottom, I've installed the new application for the doghouse. Let's launch it and see what happens. Okay, as you can see, it is reading almost 58 degrees inside the doghouse, which is pretty good considering it's about 20 degrees outside right now.